Welcome back friends. In this video, we will do hands-on with EBS snapshots. Let me quickly launch an EC2 instance. Enter a name for the EC2 instance. Instance type is T2 micro. Proceed without a key pair. We do not need SSH. Create a new security group. Check allow HTTP from the internet. Click on advanced details. Rest all default is fine. Select the launch EC2 instance. Click on the storage tab. The root volume of eight gigabytes is attached. Select this volume. Go to Actions, and here we can create Snapshot. Let me click on Create Snapshot. Here we can enter a description, for example, Test Snapshot. Click on Create Snapshot. As you can notice, the message is displayed. Successfully created Snapshot. Now if you click on Snapshots on the left side of this page, you can see all the snapshots that you have in your account. As you can notice, I have one which I just created. The test snapshot is available and its status is completed. Now let's learn how to copy a snapshot to another region. The question is, why do we need to copy snapshots to another region? First, snapshots have region scope. That being the case, if you need to use them in another region, suppose that you would like to have a secondary backup as part of a disaster recovery strategy to have it backed up to another region, or if you need to use that EBS snapshot for any other purpose in another AWS region, that's where the EBS snapshots concept comes in handy. Now let's copy this snapshot. Go to Actions. Click on Copy Snapshot. As you can notice, you can copy this snapshot to any region you would like. Let me select, for example, the US West 1 region. Here I click on the Copy Snapshot. The snapshot will be copied into the US West 1 region. Now let's go to the US West 1 region. As you can notice, the snapshot is displayed. It is getting copied as the status is pending. It should be completed in a couple of minutes. Let me wait a couple of minutes and refresh the page. As you can notice, the snapshot that we copied is available in the US West 1 region. Another thing we can do is we can recreate a volume from a snapshot. Go to Actions and click on Create Volume from Snapshot. You can increase the volume size and change the availability zone. Let me select US East 1B and click on Create Volume. Now if I go to Volumes, you can notice the second volume is created and is available. And it is in US East 1B availability zone. And that's what we selected when creating this volume from the snapshot. As you can notice, Using EBS snapshots, we can create volumes in different availability zones, which is very handy, as you will realize when you get involved more with AWS. Let's go to Snapshots. There is a button at the top next to the Actions, Recycle Bin. If you click on this, you can create Recycle Bin to protect your Amazon EBS snapshots and Amazon machine images from accidental deletion. We can create retention rules. Let's name it Test Retention Rule. For the resource type, I will select EBS Snapshot. The other option is AMI. Check the box so that the retention rule will apply to all resources of the selected type. And the retention period is one day, which is the default. Max is 365 days. For the rule lock setting, the default unlock is good so that I can delete whenever I want to. Click on Create Retention Rule. Now the retention rule is set. Let's look at one more thing. You can archive snapshots. Archiving might lead to higher storage costs than storing snapshots in the standard tier. Archiving a snapshot stores a full copy of the snapshot in the archive tier. Archiving is recommended for monthly, quarterly, or yearly snapshots. Archiving daily incremental snapshots of a single volume could lead to higher costs when compared to storing them in the standard tier. This was about archiving snapshots. Now let's delete this snapshot. The snapshot has been deleted. Now that we have set up the recycle bin, if I go to resources and refresh here, as you can notice, that snapshot is restored. If I select this and click on recover, I can recover this snapshot. Now let's go to the snapshots and refresh it. You can see the snapshot. Cool. 
That's it for this hands-on. Hope you liked it.